Welcome back to the Stepping Bigs YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Giuseppe Paladini and today we're going to talk about one topic that is close to my heart, which is mindset and things that hold you back when you want to achieve something. So when you want to invest in property, there are things that will hold you back, especially if you're at the beginning, especially if you don't believe in yourself. So I hear a lot of times when I run events, people say, how do you do? You know, how can I relate with you? How can I be successful? And how can I invest in property if I don't have one, two, three, and four? So I'm going to give you these four things that people most commonly uh, tell me they are holding them back and number one is money you get this all the time how to have the money to invest in property well neither did I but I found a way and knowledge is one of the things that will help you to find the way so number one is money money there are property strategies that you don't need to put in a lot of money property strategies there are about a hundred over a hundred because there are about 40, 50 on residential and about 50, 55 on commercial. So there is a lot out there, okay? So you probably just know, buy to let, buy the property, rent it out and get the profit. That's not it. The world of property investing, the world of professional property investing is a lot bigger than you think. And there are property strategies that you can apply with zero money or very, very little money. Some of them, we're going to cover this in another video, but some of them, just to give you an example, are deal packaging, rent to rent, assisted sale, joint venture, you know, lease option, exchange with delay competition, and so on. There are so many out there, so don't come back and say, I don't have the money to invest in property. One of the things you can do is you can release equity of your own property. I've released equity from my own house because I didn't have money in the bank, so I needed to find another way. And that was the way they allow me to release money tax-free and invest in a buy to let and start building my property portfolio. Number two reason for holding you back in the world of property investor is knowledge. And I understand it. Education is extremely important and without education, you won't go very far. So if you want to learn a new skill, what do you do? You do a research and then you learn the new skill because you're applying what you're learning, right? So you have learning, education theory then you have the practice and then you you master that skill nobody was born with all the skills we were all born the same okay naked and crying so if you want to learn a new skill you need to study and then you need to apply what you study because knowledge is not power knowledge and action is very powerful because if you know how to open a parachute but then when you're falling you don't open it yes you know it but you're not acting upon it then you're going to die. So what's the point of knowing without acting? And knowledge, I was saying the education is extremely important. Again, I will reiterate this one once again. Find a mentor, find someone you can learn from. There is a lot of resources out there. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. Uh, whatever works for you, you know, I cannot uh, explain the, the importance of uh, education that has been in my life. I was a property, uh, before I was a property investor, I was a, a lecturer, so university lecturer, so I value education quite a lot because I've learned all my skills that were transferable into the property investing world and now I can analyze with a better, uh, better eye and a mind more open than before. So. That was number two, knowledge. If you don't have the knowledge, then get and study. Get books, go on YouTube, get a podcast, you know, buy a course or a mentor, whatever you, it works for you, but do it. Don't just say, yeah, I don't have the knowledge. You know, that's not going to help you because if you don't do anything to fill that gap, then you're going to stay the same. Number three, people say to me, I don't have time to learn a new skill. I don't have time to invest in property. So time is the number three reason why people don't invest in property. And let me tell you something. Leveraging is extremely important for anything in life. You can't possibly do everything yourself. Okay? You don't have the time to do everything yourself. So you need to leverage things or people or time or experience from other people that can help you to advance, to progress further into your business. What am I saying? What am I talking about? So if you don't have time, for example, to do viewings, there are people, businesses, they can do viewings for you. For example, Viewber, you know, I, I never used it myself, but I know some of my students used it and it's very cheap. They can do a viewing for you with a checklist and they can give you back a report on 
uh, the viewing uh, process of that particular property. Uh, if you don't have time to, I don't know, do the cleanings, you have a service accommodation business, just don't do it. Employ a cleaning team that can do the things for you. So what you need to do in reality is shuffle your time schedule in a more productive way. You cannot possibly do everything yourself, I keep saying that. So you need to leverage other people. There are other people out there that are better than you in that particular task. So if you can do that, then you can focus on more productive tasks for your business. You don't want to work in your business and you don't want to run it. You want to create more revenues for your business so you can pay the people to help you to, to grow the business, okay? So your goal as a business owner is not to run the business, but it's to create more opportunities. And if you can focus your time, which is 24 hours for everybody, on more productive tasks, then your time is worth a lot more. And finally, the number four reason why uh, most people complain they don't have to invest in property is the environment. In this case, they have the environment, but it's the wrong environment. So if you have family members or friends that act like crabs pulling you down in the bucket, that's exactly what you live day to day in your life. So you will have friends that will tell you, don't do this, it's too risky, it's too dangerous. That's a bad idea. You will have family members saying exactly the same. And guess what? Are they millionaires? Are they investing in property? Not at all. So if they are not investing in property, why are you listening to them? Honestly, why are you listening to people that are not doing what you're dreaming of doing? You need to listen to people that already did it and they will never tell you don't do it because they already done it. They know it works. There are risks. Yes, there are risks. But it's riskier to stay where you are and not doing anything. So if you're complaining about your life right now and you don't like the way it's, you know, your life is going, in the direction your life is going, and you want something else, something more, then you need to do something different. So you cannot expect to get different results if you keep doing the same thing. That's the definition of insanity according to Albert Einstein. So I hope you enjoyed the video. There are a lot more setbacks and uh, mindset issues, but we will cover them in another video. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and comment below, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.